Hello students, I am Manoj Kundare, the Assistant Professor of Electronic Science. Welcome back to our e-learning platform. In previous video, we have seen the working of N-channel D-MOSFET and N-channel E-MOSFET. The link of the previous video is available in the description box. Please check it. Now, in this video, we are going to see the application of the MOSFET as a switch. Okay. First of all, let's see some basic about the MOSFET. Here is the structure of N-channel MOSFET and structure of P-channel MOSFET is shown. The structure of N-channel MOSFET, that means, first of all, take the P-type substrate, which is a lightly doped substrate. Then, diffuse two heavily doped N-type materials on this P-type substrate. Then, these two heavily doped N-type materials forms the terminals drain and source then this drain and source that means these two regions are connected through a channel which is made up of again n type material this is called as n channel mosfet above the substrate placed a thin layer of silicon dioxide and the holes are made for the contact of source and drain Above this SiO2 layer, the aluminum layer is placed to make a gate terminal. Similarly, we can see the construction of the P-channel MOSFET. The only difference is that here is N-type substrate is taken and on this N-type sub substrate, the two heavily doped P-type material or the region is formed and these two regions are connected with the again P-type material. Hence, it is named as the P-channel MOSFET. Okay, this is the construction of the depletion MOSFET. Similarly, we can see the construction of enhancement MOSFET. Only the difference between depletion MOSFET and the enhancement MOSFET is that here in depletion MOSFET, we can see here that the channel is physically present. Okay, but in E-MOSFET, the channel is physically not present. This is the main difference between D-MOSFET and E-MOSFET. The other construction details are same except the channel. In previous video, we have also seen the characteristics of the MOSFET. Let's see once again. MOSFETs are three terminal, unipolar, voltage controlled, high input impedance, high speed device. So, they are mostly in electronic circuits for switching applications. In general, any MOSFET is seen to exhibit three operating regions with cutoff region, ohmic or linear region, and saturation region. Okay. Depending upon the region the MOSFET work in, the application such as it works an open switch, closed switch, or as an amplifier. Okay. Let's see. The regions first one is MOSFET in cutoff region. A MOSFET operates in cutoff region when VGS is less than VTH, that means the voltage from gate to source is less than voltage or the threshold voltage. In cutoff region is a region in which the MOSFET will be off as there will be no current flow through it. That means in cutoff region the current ID is zero. In this region, MOSFET behaves like an open switch and it is thus used when they are required to function as electronic switches. That means we can use the MOSFET as an open switch but we have to operate in the cutoff region. Okay. Then the next region is MOSFETs in linear or ohmic region. Ohmic or linear region is a region where the current ID increases with the increase in the value of VDS. That means as we increase the voltage from drain to source, the current ID also increases. In linear region, the channel is continuous and the drain current is proportional to the resistance of the channel. When the MOSFETs are made to operate in this region, they can be used as an amplifier. That means if we want to use the MOSFET as an amplifier, then we have to operate in the linear or ohmic region. Okay. Now, 
the third region is that mosfet in saturation region in saturation region mosfets have their ids constant in spite of increase in vds that means the current id becomes now constant while the vds that means drain to source voltage is increased and occurs once when vds exceeds the value of pinch off voltage vp under this condition this device will be acts as the closed switch through which a saturated value of ids flows as a result this operating region is chosen whenever mosfets are required to perform the switching operation that means if we want to use the mosfet as a closed switch then we have to operate in the saturation region that means for example if you want to operate the mosfet as a switch that means in a closed switch or as a open switch then we have to operate in the two regions the cut off region and the saturation region okay in linear region or ohmic region it is used as the amplifier but here we want to it as a switch hence we have to operate in the cut off region and the saturation region this is the characteristics of the mosfet is shown the operation of the enhancement mosfet or e mosfet can be best described using its iv characteristics curve shown below this is the characteristics of the enhancement mosfet in which we can see here that there are three regions this is the cut off region that means below vgs equal to 0 we get the cut off region and here the mosfet works as the open switch okay here is the saturation region and in this saturation region here is the saturation region in this saturation region the mosfet works as the closed switch okay now let's see working of n channel e mosfet as a switch first of all in a cut off region that means as an open switch here the operating conditions of the transistor are zero input gate voltage v in zero drain current id and output voltage vds equal to vdd therefore for an enhancement type of mosfet the conductive channel is closed and the device is switched off then we can define the cut off region or off mode when using an e mosfet as a switch as a ding gate voltage vgs less than vth thus id equal to 0 this description is well described on this diagram here is the diagram for mosfet working in a cut off region is shown here is the symbol of n channel e mosfet is shown in which the gate is connected with the input supply the drain is connected with the vdd supply and source is connected with the ground let's see what the actual operation does here first of all the input and gate are grounded that means the input and gate are grounded that means the input zero input that means gate has the zero volt okay gate to source voltage less than the threshold voltage vgs less than vth that means the gate to source voltage this supply is less than the threshold voltage hence there is no supply across the gate terminal then in this condition the mosfet is off because the id or the current through the drain is zero okay no drain current flows id is equal to zero that means v out is equal to vds equal to vdd equal to 1 that means mosfet operates as an open switch okay this is the equivalent diagram of this that means the mosfet this is operates as the open switch okay that means there is no connection between input and output because here id is zero okay now let's see the mosfet of in the saturation region that means the operation of the mosfet as a closed switch 
in saturation or linear region the maximum amount of gate voltage is applied to the device therefore for the enhancement type POSMET the conductive channel is open and the device is switched on then we can define the saturation region or on mode when using an e-MOSFET as a switch as a gate to source voltage VGS greater than VTH that means voltage from gate to source should be greater than the threshold voltage hence the ID or the drain current is maximum let's see this concept on the diagram here is now the V in is connected with the VDD that means a power supply is given to the input the input and the gate are connected to the VDD the gate to source voltage is much greater than that means this voltage is much greater than the threshold voltage VTH hence the MOSFET is on or it is operated in saturation region hence there is a maximum drain current flows through the drain ID is equal to VDD upon RF ok that means when the gate is connected with the VDD then and the VGS is greater than VTH then the maximum drain current for flow that means ID is maximum and in this case the MOSFET is in on condition hence it is known as a closed switch ok I hope you all understand the MOSFET as an open switch and closed switch let's see the example of the MOSFET working of N channel E MOSFET as a switch for lamp here is the same principle is shown here is the drain uh, the lamp is connected with the drain terminal in this circuit the enhancement mode N channel MOSFET is being used to switch a simple lamp on and off or we can connect any load here for example we can connect LED or we can connect a simple motor here for the switching purpose the gate input voltage VGS is taken to appropriate positive voltage level to turn on the device and therefore the lamp load is either on at or at zero voltage level that turns the device off that means VGS equal to zero volt that means we can on this lamp when we connect a positive gate voltage towards it then the maximum drain current flows due to this drain current the lamp is on and if this V in is zero volt then this lamp is in off condition if we connect some inductive load here that means if we connect some inductive load here then the back EMF of this inductive load may damage the MOSFET for that purpose here we connect a free willing diode to protect this MOSFET ok I hope you all understand the concept here thank you